Hey, y'all, wake up, wake up, wake up. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to start with the wall one blade on top. As you can see, I start from the crown of the head. Try my best to cut in the direction that the hair grow. That way we won't have one dark side and one light side. Get it nice and clean. We're gonna kinda, you know, go around the edge up. That way we have a fresh edge up when it comes to that time. So right now I'm hitting it with the one and a half wall blade. Just knocking the bulk out. And it's all the way open. And if you pay attention, I close it up and go a little bit up under that. So now I'm putting the one guard back on. Right up under that one and a half. In the same way, I have it all the way open. Then I close it and go right up under that. You can almost see the transition right now. Gives you a clean, solid workspace. We're gonna go all the way around the head. periodically throughout the uh, transition we adjusting the level on the walls to you know do a little bit of corrections so right now this is the wall all the way closed it's a semi ball line and what I'm doing is almost bottom the top at this point so now I come back with the edges I'm balling them out Get it nice and clean. So now that just leaves us with the seams and we go in from all the way open, halfway, closed, whatever length you need in between. And if you can see, I'm gonna be adjusting the level throughout the blend to the desired length. That way we can get it nice and clean blend on I try my best to use uh, each guard one time that way you know it creates a faster cut so it won't be taking too long on one side of the head but when I get down to the wall senior, since it's one clipper, I do one side at a time. Because we only using one clipper. start on the edge of nine of, of course we're gonna start in the middle of the edge up and go out to the sides we pick the highest point of the edge up and you wanna you know cut it nice and, and crisp to the natural line you know no one's edge up is perpendicular you got to push something up or back a little bit, slightly, but you don't want to go too far. Keep it close to the natural as possible. Clients love it, man. Do a little clean up on it. That way you can see the uh, the transition, you see the fade better. Nice and clean. You still gotta use your wrist, man. Use your wrist. Utilize your wrist. Can't say that enough. 
We just, you know, knocking the little loose halves off the top right now with the wall seams all the way open. Hitting with the razor, dry. You don't need all them products once you learn how to use the razor. Hold it at the proper angle. And there we go, man. Low ball fade. Y'all subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Go check out my Instagram. And be on the lookout. Be more videos soon. Peace.